surveys show that people want access to the water. And one of those ways that we hope to provide access is through our legislative concept, the Waterway Access Account. Over the years, I've been collecting different designs, concepts, unique opportunities that other people in the state have implemented or worked on to create non-motorized access. I, I kind of look at this as an opportunity. It's really potential. We have potential to help create access for paddlers of all different kinds. So some of the designs I've been collecting are I put together in this book just to show people what could be done. Um, one of the sites specifically is on the Clackamas River. It's called Hole in the Wall. It's a project that we partially funded in combination with a bunch of other partners to create a rail system to help whitewater kayakers and rafters get into the Clackamas River. The rail system actually goes down to a gravel bar, but the rails are important because it helps a boater go through a steep bank in a very safe way. And you can see, they're walking kayaks down. This was really a great project that had a little footprint for access users. Another one would be Ojala, which is on the Solettes, and it's a different type of rail slide. Um, this will help drift boaters get into the water as well as you can see a canoeist is going down. There's wide stairs so it's a nice easy stable landing platform for people. Um, Arlington, the port did a wonderful job creating a windsurfer access on the Columbia. So you can see there's there's a little breach between the jetty with the rock. They have plenty of room to stage. There's some gravel parking but what a great way to get in and out of the Columbia for some windsurfers. And this would have a lot of application for other locations as well. And then Shampooey State Park, it has an existing tie-up dock and state parks added on a paddle access. So it kind of creates a little bit of a saddle. Paddle craft can go inside there and it's an easier way uh, for them to get into the water. Another site um, is Don Lindley, and this will actually be a brand new facility. It previously was a RV park. It's on the LC River, and um, I'm going to flip here. So this is kind of the outline of improvements, um, and these were the previous improvements um, that were out there that have um, fallen into disarray. But the property is quite huge. You can see there's some wetland, there's some challenges, but this will fill an area where private access um, was closed. So I want to show you what some of the design concepts are that we've worked with paddlers, um, outfitter guides, members of the public, neighbors, um, a bunch of parties to really define how to create an area that has motorized and non-motorized access. So this concept actually has a shared entryway, immediate single car parking, which accesses the carry down trail. And if you're not comfortable launching from the bank, there's also a dock. So it gives two opportunities for paddlers to launch. There is a debris deflection boom, but it also provides some wave attenuation so paddlers can get their paddles underneath them before they enter out onto the river. Once you pass this, you're then into kind of the motorized zone. So here's a traditional concrete ramp with boarding docks and the associated parking. So this is an opportunity to separate the point of entry for paddle craft and motorized, but yet share many of the same amenities. So it's a lower cost for both of the users by looking at how to separate that point of entry and the parking.